In this example, we're going to take a look at these three ordered pairs, and we would like to write a quadratic function whose graph passes through, well, these three ordered pairs. And so a quadratic function will be in the form, if it's in standard form, ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay, well, I can use this information right here and each one of these ordered pairs in succession to build a really nice system of equations, which then we can solve. And what we'll be solving for are the values of a, b, and c, these coefficients, and so then I can write them in and I'll have a nice function. And so we know that this f of x can be replaced by a y, so we'll have y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So let's go ahead and take each one of our ordered pairs and we'll start with negative 2, 5. Well, the negative 2 is my x value, the 5 is my y value, so let's go ahead and write an equation. So y, well that's my 5, equals a, and my x squared, well that's negative 2 squared, plus b, and times x, plus c. So when I polish this up a little bit, I see that 5 equals, well, negative 2 squared is negative 2 times negative 2, so 4a minus 2b plus c. Hey, and I have a nice equation right here that I can use. So let's go ahead and do the same thing for the other two ordered pairs. I have my x and my y, and so I'll have my y, which is 3, equals... So we're going to square it, so square the x, so 2 times 2 is 4a, and then plus bx, so plus 2b plus c. Okay, that's not bad. And then our final ordered pair is negative 4, 15. So there's my x and there's my y. So my y is 15 equals, so we're going to square the x, so 16a, and then bx, so minus 4b plus c. Okay, and right here, we have ourselves a nice system of equations. We have three equations. We have three unknown values. So let's go ahead and solve. And we can approach this using substitution or elimination first. But I notice with uh, my B values right here, if I were just to add these two equations together, it would eliminate the Bs, and that would be a really good start. So let's do that. So I'm just going to add these first two equations together. So 5 plus 3 is 8. 4a and 4a makes 8a. The b's cancel, and then I have plus 2c. All right. So at this point, if you want to, you don't have to, we, we can see that we have 8, 8, and a 2, so we could just divide everything by 2 to make these numbers smaller. So we would end up with 4 equals 4a plus c. Okay, so there is one equation now, and we've eliminated the b's. So how else could we kind of approach this system, since we're using elimination, to combine two of these equations together to eliminate the b's? Okay, well, let's go ahead and look at using these bottom two. Because it looks like the b right here is a plus 2, and the b right here is a minus 4. So if I just doubled this one, I could add them and eliminate. So let's go ahead and multiply this equation right here by 2. So 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 4a is 8a, 2 times that 2b is positive 4b, and then 2 times c is 2c. We will rewrite the third equation right below here. It's left unchanged. And let's go ahead and add these up. So 21 equals 24a, these b's cancel, plus 3c. And what you can notice here, if you want, all of these are divisible by 3. So let's go ahead and take the 3 out, just divide. So 7 equals 8a plus c. And we have the second equation. So now let's take a look at the two equations that we have. We have this equation with just a and c, and this equation with just a and c. And so let's go ahead and stack them. So 4 equals 4a plus c and 7 equals 8a plus c. So if we were to just to multiply through by a, a negative 1 on this first equation, so we'd have minus 4 equals a negative 4a minus c. I can just write this equation here unchanged. The c's cancel. 
3 equals 4a. Yeah, so you've probably done these before, and we're just solving this system here. It's nice and easy. So your a is going to be 3 fourths. Well, if my a is 3 fourths, let's go ahead and plug that maybe right there. So 7 equals 8 times a, which is 3 fourths, plus c. Okay, so we have the 2 and the 1. It looks like 7 equals 6 plus c. So when I subtract 6, looks like my value of c is 1. Great, so now I have two of these, so now I just need to plug them in and find that value for b. And maybe let's go ahead and look at this equation right here. So it's 3 equals 4a plus 2b plus c. And we know the value of a was 3 fourths. We're looking for that value of b, but we know c is 1. So let's see what we can get. So 3 equals... Here are these fours cancel, so 3 plus 2b plus 1. Well, it looks like those threes can cancel in either case and then subtract 1 from both sides. Just doing this fairly quickly here. So negative 1 equals 2b. So when I divide by 2, b equals negative 1 half. So I now have all three of my coefficients that I'm looking for, a, b, and c. So let's put it all together. So my function, f of x equals ax squared, my a was 3 fourths, so 3 fourths x squared, plus bx, and my b is negative 1 half, so minus 1 half x, and then plus c, which is positive 1, so right there. So we have f of x equals 3 fourths x squared minus 1 half x plus 1, and that's going to be the function this quadratic function, whose graph is a parabola, and it will pass through these three points. So let's go ahead and finish off this video by showing you what that graph looks like, and it will be passing through these three points.